Hola! Today we're going to do a really cool art project by making a Mexican guitar, a folk art guitar, out of construction paper. It's a very cool project, it's very, very simple. You're just going to need a few items to get started. Okay, gather up these things. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, colored markers or sharpies, a glue stick, and different colors of construction paper. At least four different colors. Okay, when you have those items, let's get started. To make the body of the guitar, it's pretty easy to do it so that it can actually turn out symmetrical. What you're going to need is a piece of paper. I like a light colored paper so that you can do your designs on it. It shows up pretty easily. Take your paper, you're going to fold it in half. Make sure your corners match up. Give it a crease. Now, let's add the shape of the guitar. Use a pencil so that the Sharpie doesn't bleed through on the other side. Now, when you do this, make sure that the folded side is in the middle. Take the pencil. You're going to make kind of like a W. Get as wide and close to the edge as possible. Bring it in a little curve. Bring it back out. Make sure you touch the edge. And bring it flat along the bottom. Now, take your scissors. Let's cut that out. Again, you want that design to be on the outside edge. Make sure when you're cutting, you're getting your edges nice and smooth. Okay. Now you have the body of the guitar. Next, let's make a circle. This is going to be the part where the sound of the strings is echoed through the guitar. I think I'm going to make this one purple. Okay, and this one I did blue. So, I'm going to take my paper, I'm going to fold it in half. I'm just going to do the bottom part. I'm going to draw my circle. Bring it up, close to the edge, bring it up, there we go, okay, let's see how that fits, it's a little big for me, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Almost. Perfect. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take my glue stick and we're going to glue that down. See, that's a little, little notch right there. I want to get rid of those little points there. Move this over to the side, glue my edges, that helps everything stick down, and put that right about there. Excellent. Now I need the body of the guitar, or I'm sorry, the neck. It's probably a little bit longer, well, no, it's actually going to fit my one piece of paper. So this I'm going to make purple. My scrap left over from here. Okay. I'm going to draw my line. I can actually use another piece of paper to trace to get a nice long line. I want it to be about that big. I'm going to use this edge of the paper so I can trace a nice line. Boom. Okay. I want 
want my guitar neck to be a little bit longer, I can trace a little bit more with this extra scrap paper. And I can piece those together to get a little bit more length. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to glue these two pieces together so I get a long guitar neck. And then I'm going to bring my guitar. That's what I'm aiming for. Bring that right about here. That looks really good. Okay, so add some glue here and make sure it's nice and straight. Excellent. Now I'm going to add some guitar strings. And I don't want it to be yellow or purple, so I'm going to use this orange. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and cut some strings. Two. Three. If you have yarn, you can also use yarn. Four, five, six. And there are six guitar strings. So let's see if we can make this fit. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to be tight. So let's do it. I'm going to glue my smallest piece of paper first, and that is the guitar strings. Move it as close as I can to the edge. If you cannot fit all six onto your guitar, that is okay. One. Do what you can. Two. Four. Looks like I'm only going to be able to fit five, so we're just going to have to go with that. Five. Okay. All right. Now I have some more up here, so I'm just going to keep adding these strings until I get to the top but first I need to make the neck I'm sorry the head of the guitar where the tuning keys will be so I'm gonna make that a different color see I have this red left I'm going to have to use a little bit more purple let's see I hope I have purple left I don't have any more purple left okay well I'm gonna have to go with the blue so this is the top of the guitar, where the tuning keys will be. So let's bring that here. Get my glue stick. Let's glue that down. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit more. Okay. And let's add some more guitar strings. So again, guitars are five strings long or six inch six strings long but for the sake of this project it's really hard to cut super skinny strings out of 
construction paper. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and just do five, just for this project. So, there we go. Boom, okay. We have our five strings. Now, again, what I do, what I like to do is just hold this still, and just pull the string underneath the glue stick. Okay, it's starting to get sticky. Two. Whoops. Three. Four. Five. Okay, looking good, looking really good. Okay, now I need some tuning keys. Those are just kind of like, they look like little mushrooms that are going to go on the edge of here. So I'm going to take this piece of paper and we're going to do a little trick. I'm going to show you an artist trick. Fold it in half. I need, I'm going to fold it in half again and fold it in half again. I'm going to do six. But what you do is you take that and you're going to kind of cut up two little notches. Kind of let it go around, kind of like the shape of a mushroom or a stop sign. So right there, I folded that in six pieces, so I got six at the same time. So again, that's a little artist trick. So I'm going to go here. One, two, three. Three tuning keys. One, two. Three. And then on this side, we're going to do three more. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I don't want that to cover up my string there, so there we go. Okay, looking pretty good. Now down here, I need to make a bridge. And a bridge is a place where the strings are held in place at the bottom of the guitar body. Right about there. It's a little bit big. Take a rectangle. I'm going to glue that down. Right there. Okay. Excellent. Let's get rid of this. Now, for the design. When you're doing your design, there's all different types of things that you can make. You can do flowers, leaves, dots along the edges. Here I put a moon and stars, a flower going around the guitar. There's even a cloud here. Different types of branches with leaves. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and have a take my sharpies, turn this, and I'm going to do something that's called symmetry. Symmetry means it's the same on both sides. Let's give that a shot. Okay, so first I'm going to start with a flower. Right at the bottom. Circle. Oops, that one's not working. Let's try. Put a circle inside of that circle, and I'm going to start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like this orange. I'm going to go around that with the orange.
and I'll put a red dot in the middle of each one. I'll put a larger dot on the outside in between each petal. Okay. Now, I did like that idea of a flower going around that guitar opening. And let's see what colors I can work with. I have blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's okay. And let's do some rainbows inside. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna go with the flow. On the inside, let's do another one. Okay, excellent. Now I'm going to do a vine, just kind of S shape. And a leaf, 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 leaf. see what else we can do. I think in between each one of these I'm going to put a tiny flower. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And maybe here we'll put some petals coming off of it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. Now let's see what else we can do. How about going up the sides? Maybe from here we can do a larger flower. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Coming off of there, let's do a couple of leaves. Okay. And inside of these flower shapes, we can do Kind of like a little fire symbol or just some shading in there to make it look a little bit more fiery. And maybe we'll take that purple, do a little outline on the bottom, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. I love making these dots. I'll do some hearts up in here. Okay. And how about, I do like going around the edges with dots. It's kind of my favorite design. So I'm just gonna go around the edges here. A lot of noise from the outside today. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, so it's always a great day to make art. I love putting symmetry in my artwork. Let's 
take a look. I'm gonna pull this back a little bit. So here we have one Mexican car guitar design. And here we have the other one. So again, you don't have to follow my designs exactly. You want to put stars, hearts, moons, flowers, leaves, patterns. Design it however you want, but the idea is to keep it very colorful, symmetrical pattern. Pattern is whatever you take something and you repeat over and over and over again. Um, uh, you can do, again, symmetry. Whatever you put on one side, you put on the other side. I like to follow things to be symmetri symmetrical, but sometimes I do go off a little bit. Um, so it's up to you. Um, on this one, I made it very simple. I did not put the, um, the base here to hold the strings in. And this one I did, okay? This one I have the tuning keys. This one I left off. Depends on how detailed you want to get. So, have fun with your project. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. And have a great time making your art. Thanks for joining me with the Mexican Guitar Design.